Here I was thinking there was nothing else we could possibly talk about in terms of details pertaining to the upcoming Saints Row reboot, but my stupid ass forgot about customization. From your vehicles, to you, yourself, the big boss. It's just par for the course when it comes to the Saints Row series, really. This information comes from another Game Informer preview article, of course, focusing on the customization you can engage in. In terms of boss customization, the article mentions options like the standard changing of the eye and skin tone and, interestingly, the ability to equip your protagonist with prosthetics. When it comes to nudity, now you don't have to be content with just having to stare at a bunch of pixels jiggling around, protecting your sensitive virgin eyes from the horror that is the exposed human body, because now you can slap on some emojis to cover your shame. Isn't that just great? What a revolutionary new feature that I'm sure nine-year-olds the globe over are collectively screaming in excitement over as we speak. By the way, Frank Marquardt, one of the art directors, unless he is the only art director I don't know, said of the customization for the Saints Row reboot, quote, We've achieved dreams. <laughs> End quote. <laughs> Jesus Christ, are you kidding me? We've achieved dreams. Unless the new customization really is unprecedented in its novelty and ingenuity, this is just hilarious. Anyway, moving on. Uh, obviously, your customized character will carry over to co-op sessions, so you can show off how marvelous your fashion and design sense is to your best friend, who has decided to just stick with one of the presets because they can't be asked to spend nigh on four hours tinkering with their little 3D person because they want to actually play the game, god forbid. As mentioned, vehicle customization is there, on full display, with its legs spread, awaiting your insightful and creative touch. Gang customization is back as well, along with the progressive changing of the Saints Church HQ appearance as the story progresses and the more notoriety you gain. And naturally, you'll be able to customize your weapons, allowing you to kill in style on the streets of Santo Eleso. Okay, now we've talked about everything, right? Unless Game Informer wants to give us the complete customizable option list, or perhaps the entire mission list and chronology of the game story, I think we're good for a while, at least. Even by previous news post standards, this one is bare bones. There's barely anything actually concrete here, just a lot of check this shit out guys, this is totally what you should expect when this game drops next year. But hey, nothing says game journalism like turning one or two tiny details into a rambling mess of a 15 paragraph article or a 25 minute long video upload, right? Until next time! I'm gonna go smash my head into the brick wall behind the local pizza joint until I start tasting pepperoni.